Hi everybody, I'm back again with another quick video. This one's going to be um, painted minis for the game Zombicide. Um, some of these you might have seen before but they've been sort of updated and they've got different paintwork on them. Um, you can see in the background there is the new board game that I've just got. Uh, the new D&D one, Temple of Elemental Evil. I will do an unboxing of that as well soon. And what the minis are standing on is uh, an art book from the Age of Ultron movie. I might do um, a video on contents of that as well at some point. But this one's just to show off these minis. Uh, we've got 14 characters with their zombivals. Seven males, seven females. So without further ado, we'll go through the list. We'll start with the guys first. Uh, the first one is Ralph. So I'll do the normal mini first, and then there's on Bible. Um, I have shown this one before, but this is just an updated paintwork on it. Um, the, originally, the one I showed you before was um, from a different painter, but these ones have come from Jay Zealous again, because uh, I think he's much better at doing it. Um, I had a spare set, so I got him to do these for me. Really nice paintwork, and here's the Zombival. I will be sending off another load of minis to him to do because I cannot paint to save my life. I might give it a go one day. So, I'll say that is Ralph. Next up, we have Brad again. This is the Jay Zealous painted one. Um, I did have another one painted by somebody else, and I've since sold them on eBay. So obviously Clint Eastwood. Um, the Ralph figure is Woody Harlson. And here's his Zombie Bible. Again, I'm using my new camera. It's my uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge phone. And the quality is superb. Okay, I want to get through these quite quick. Next one is Thigo. This is one of the Games Night exclusive minis. This is obviously um, Mike Myers. As Austin Powers. And his Zombival. The good thing I like about this camera is um, it doesn't take long to focus. Whereas the other one was all over the place. Okay, next up we have Kirk. This is Steven Seagal. As I said, all these minis are painted by Jay Zellis. Um, I'll put a link below. To his email address if, if you want to get yours done by him uh, feel free to email him he lives over in Ireland and here's the Zombival next up we have Fred this is obviously Simon Pegg from the movie Shaun of the, De uh, Shaun of the Dead And his Zombival. Uh, Jay's painting is getting better and better, actually. All other his other minis were really good, but he's just up the bar on these ones. Uh, next we have Rick. This is Jason Statham. Uh, be interesting to see what sort of paint scheme he comes up with for the season three zombies. Because obviously they've got to look different from the original zombies from season one and two, so you can distinguish them. 
So it'll be interesting to see what he comes up with there. I always go by what he does. Because uh, he's, no matter what paint scheme he uses, it always comes out brilliant. And this is the Zombival of the Rick figure. And finally for the males, we have Ross. I believe this is John Goodman. Obviously from the Roseanne series and other films and things like that. Really love the look of this one. Done a brilliant job on this figure. And here's the Zombivor. So that's it for the guys. Uh, we now move on to the females. First one is Rose, which is Angela Lansbury from Murder She Wrote. Again, I did have this one painted originally by somebody else on a spare set that I had, uh, but I wanted. Um, I just really I just wanted to see what other people could do with the minis um, but Jay is the best as far as I'm concerned at doing these so I sent my other set off to him to get done and this is the Zombival I'm not sure what paints he uses um, you'll have to ask him that if you want to get yours done I'm not sure if they're Citadel paints or Valigio paints Next up we have Lee or Leah, which I believe um, oh, is Lindsay Lohan from Mean Girls. Yes, we know you always want to see that shot. He's just painted red in between the legs. But yeah, very nice again. And the Zombival. With the old G string. Very nice. Next up, we have Dakota, which is Pamela Anderson. Fantastic looking figure, this one. I should think this would be a favourite with a lot of male players. Uh, what I might do later is, um, when I do Zombie Side, I might just do an all-female team going in. And here's the Zombival. Um, I believe Guillotine Games are bringing out another Kickstarter in June. And it's going to be called Black Death. It's zombie side again, but it's set in medieval times. So keep a lookout for that on Kickstarter if you're interested. Uh, next we have Thesa, which is uh, Bridget Fonda from um, the American version of Nikita, the movie. Uh, I can't think what the name of the film is now off my hand. Um, oh, I might get it later. But yeah, this is supposed to be Bridget Fonda. And her Zombival. And next up, we have Adriana, which is Beyonce, from uh, one of the Austin Power movies. I wonder if the actual people that these are based on have actually seen these or played the game and what they think about it. Be interesting to see. Uh, there's a Zombival. I mean, I'd love to have uh, my representation in this game. You could have done that on the previous Kickstarter, Season 2, um, but it would just cost too much money. 
to get your own miniature put in the game but maybe at a later date if they do another one I might consider it uh, next we have Helen which is Jodie Foster from Silence of the Lambs I mean, correct me if I'm wrong on who I think these characters are but I'm sure I'm right on all of them there you go keep focusing damn you Again, very nice paint job and here's the Zon Bible uh, I don't tend to use the Zon Bible as now when I play the game um, what I do is um, I just give them an extra wound um, so it takes three wounds to actually kill them now rather than two um, I think the Zon Bivers are okay in the game but I'd rather do it so that it's just the normal character I do play it with my own house rules, so when I do my next playthrough um, and you're watching it, if you watch it that is, um, don't say, oh you should do this, you should do that, because I say I just use my own house rules and I will explain it on the videos when I do them. And finally we have Kyoko, which is um, Lucy Lou. This is, um, again, a Games Night exclusive miniature. I think this is Games Night Season 1, whereas Thigo, which you saw earlier, was Season 2. I do have the other two as well, but they're not painted up yet. Uh, so you'll see those when they're painted. And here, finally, a Zumbival. Uh, there's a question I want to ask you people out there who play this game. Um, with... Um, Rose she starts with a flamethrower now when you're playing the game to use a flamethrower you need to find gasoline to use it um, so when you start with it does this mean it's always topped up with gasoline or do you have to keep trying to find gasoline to to top it up um, just a question for you guys out there if you can let me know the answer so yeah there you go um, that's all their cards there I was using the names because I keep forgetting them that's my latest batch of painted minis for Zombicide. Um, I will be sending some more off to be done, as I said. Um, there will be some more videos coming on unboxings and things like that. I've got some Kickstarter games um, that I've backed. Um, I've got one that's just come through, if you look over there. On top of the Angry Neighbours is Dreadball Extreme. So I will do an unboxing of that soon when I get time I keep saying I'm going to do them and it's months and months until I do a video but I will they will be coming trust me um, it's just when I can get to do them um, I will do a playthrough on zombie side again as I say um, and there'll be a few other things coming so as always thanks for watching and I'll see you guys on the next video take care